Start by removing the air filter return and central panels. Using a quarter inch socket, remove the heater plate and replace the lead. Go to the thermostat and set it higher than the ambient temperature so as to engage the furnace. Now I want to play the startup sequence in its entirety because this might help you gain a familiarity of each step. It also might help you troubleshoot your specific problem. Now in the beginning you're going to hear an engine begin to rev up as it purges the system. During the second phase, you're going to hear a louder winding sound, which precedes the warming up of your igniter, which will in turn ultimately light the gas when it begins to flow. This process takes about 20 seconds. Peering through the channels of your removed heater plate, if you can identify the igniter, but it never glows orange, as a temporary fix, perhaps until your part has arrived, with caution, you can use a propane torch to heat the igniter. Now since this process typically takes about 20 seconds, I count to 10 seconds before applying any heat and immediately pull off the torch when you hear the gas begin to flow. These igniters don't last forever and mine had a dead patch in the heating element necessitating replacement. Now looking back, I would recommend having an extra one on hand, as it seems that every furnace malfunction is an emergency. Here I removed the air filter to verify that the large circulating fan is doing its job. Now let's replace that igniter. Start by killing the power. Using a quarter inch socket, simply remove the retaining screw. The female end of this 70W16 nitride igniter will link up with the male end of the wiring harness. Go ahead and take that off at this time. The HVAC industry has been monopolized, so even though this appears to be like a $5 part, expect to pay 50 bucks online and north of 100 bucks if you're purchasing it from a local vendor. This particular unit has a soft orange collar. Now it's just a matter of reattaching the harness and slipping the new igniter into place, setting it with that quarter inch socket. Before putting all the paneling back on, test it out. <laughs> it seems to have done the trick. I've included a bit of bonus footage for those of you whose motors and fans all work, but after replacing that igniter, you still don't get a light. 
The lower panel can be removed using that same quarter inch socket. Removing this panel will automatically engage a furnace kill switch for safety so you won't be able to test it without depressing that safety button. Your problem may originate from the circuitry, which is beyond the scope of this video. However, I will provide close-up video of the components in case you need to replace a capacitor or whatever. As you can see, I purchased an extra board off eBay for relatively nothing. Feel free to ask if you want any more specifics on any of the circuitry components. As always, if you'd like me to continue producing videos like this, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and stay warm.